Probably progress that Clowney made going from game one to game two. Made 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 a couple plays, you know. Yeah, I saw and, that. Yeah, you know, made a couple plays, and I mean, Jadavian is again is he's going to be a tremendous player. He's humble. He wants to learn. And I've said that over and over right. again. I can't emphasize that enough. I mean, he he is eager to to be the best that he can be. And so, uh, you know, a lot of guys again with that recruiting background he had, they're not like that. They think they got all the answers. He's not like that at all. And, uh, he's a pleasure to coach. Uh, he was learning how to give great effort all the time. But, I mean, those two sacks he had this past week, I mean, the first one, I mean, he was on that quarterback in a hurry. And the second one, that was a screen play. Yeah, and Melvin, you know, Melvin banged up on the back and kind of delayed him. And, and the quarterback, you know, couldn't see him. I mean, Jadevian was all over him. Yeah. I mean, it was like, I mean, bam, right now. Was that Colin just recognizing the gap? He, no, he, we, we, he, we he shot through that gap. We stunned him, 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 him inside. Okay. We had him yeah. coming inside yeah. and Melvin off the edge. Yeah. And they both were right where they were supposed to be. And, Doing exactly what they were supposed to do, and you know that both of them were successful in the play, and uh, we ended up with a touchdown. Was there any concerns going into the game for him about the fact of the SEC road game and how how he would react to that situation? Or that, or no, 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 no. You talking about Jadavian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he's he's pretty uh, mature kid. I mean, as far as again, he loves he loves competition. He loves competing. When you get babies, do you have to slow the motors down now, especially for a player like him? And do you have to play more deliberately this week? You can't play as vertical when you play the option, because if you do, you run yourself out of out of play. You run yourself and put yourself in bad positions. So, you know, in, in those situations where it's it's obviously run, you, you can't be as vertical as, as you, you usually are. So, and you, you really got to do a great job playing with your hands, play with great discipline up front. Uh, so you know, we worked on that tonight, and we'll continue to work on that the entire week. Is that an easier lesson for the veterans than it is? No, oh, yeah. I mean, for guys that understand ball, and again, a lot of our older guys that were here when we played Waffle. Yeah. So I mean, they understand you know the complexity of this offense we're getting ready to face. I mean, it's it's just different. It's a, it's a whole it's just different. As long as they don't come out wearing soccer shin guards, we'll be fine. I have a buddy Green, their D, D coordinator, Navy's a good friend of mine, and he told me. They played two or three teams over the years that came out wearing soccer shin guards. He said those teams are done before gaming was started. So we we got to make our guys understand it's, it's still football. Coach, what's, the, what's why do they wear soccer shin guards? I'm sorry, why would their opponents wear Because they, they keep, keep, just keep cutting them. They chop them to death. I mean, it's, it's a, if you ever watch an option team, I mean, they'll chop you. I mean, it's, it's lethal. <laughs> I mean, it's, it just is. And you have to keep it in your head, I guess. Yeah. If you play with your hands, if you get your hands on a guy, when you get chopped, you, you got something to brace yourself against, and you're fine. But if you don't play with your hands and you get vertical, a lot when you know you don't, I mean, you, you grind you up like a meat grinder. Because you gave and his athleticism seems perfect for an option that he can he can run side to side and catch those guys. But what Christopher was saying he is a freshman. Do you worry? There's responsibilities you got to take care of first, and then you rally to the football. Because you've been doing this a while. Speaking specifically to Jadavian Sack, you know that caused the fumble on Saturday. I mean. How quick is his first step? It was really quick that day. I mean, he's he put that left foot in the ground and, and uh, cleared the tackle inside and got upfield, and he was all over the quarterback in a, in a hurry. And then, like I said, it was a screen play. But like I said, Melvin was coming off the edge, and he, you know, he collision that back. And, and Melvin told me, he said, I almost stopped. Because he said, I felt the screen because the guy didn't really try to block me. He just kind of, but it, you know, then all of a sudden he saw the ball on the ground. He kind of tried to scoop it and missed it. And then he, we teach him when you, when you recover a fumble, you push the ball into the ground with two hands. It's like a catcher coming out in front of the you know, plate in baseball. The ball's bunted. He pushes the ball into the, the ground so it goes into his hand. He doesn't miss it. Same thing with the fumble. You push it into the ground. And you ask him, he'll tell you as a coach, that's the first thing I was all about. So push the ball into the ground. Here it was in my hands. I, just put about two I like how he would have pushed it forward a little bit. Yeah, we, 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 we tried to <laughs> scoop it. He tried to scoop it. And uh, he missed the scoop. Yeah. And as soon as he did, that's when he went to push it in the ground. Recovered the fumble. How does Navy's option differ at all from, from Wofford's option? Wofford, is, Wofford does a lot more stuff in the shotgun, yeah. and uh, that's where it's different, but it's still the same place. I mean, there's a dive phase, there's a quarterback phase, <coughs> there's a pitch phase, and, uh, they got the, the rocket sweep, whatever you want to call it. So it's still the same place, but Wofford does it out of different configurations. And so you know, they're, they're both, I mean, it's hard, it's tough. Yeah, obviously you guys struggled against Wofford twice. How does the D line, the talent D line now compare to? What you had back in 06 and 08 when you guys played Waffle the first few times? Well, it's, and again, when you play the option, it yeah. negates the defense line. Right. You know, okay. You're always squeezing stuff down yeah. inside. And, and again, they want to get the ball on the perimeter if they can. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, it's, 
we're more athletic than we were then. Yeah. But you know, that may we may make more plays in pursuit because of it. So basically, the outside linebacker should make all should make all the tackles in the game. Like no, this. I mean no. It's just, 